Hello everyone and welcome back for another phonics lesson. Well done for tuning in today. This is really important learning so I'm really pleased to see you all here. So let's have a look at our learning intention for today. Our learning intention is to learn the mm, phoneme and the corresponding grapheme. So this um, grapheme is called V and the phoneme is mmm and the action that we do for that is we put our hands out like this and pretend we are driving a van around the village and we do this mmm like you've got your hands on a steering wheel mmm mmm so you do that mmm mmm well done Okay, let's have a look at some things that start with mmm. So, here is the V graphene and the phoneme it makes is mmm. So have a think, what can you see here? These all start with mmm. Talk to an adult or talk to somebody else who's in your house with you. See if you can identify what all of these things are. So, we have got a van, a volcano, a violin, and this for you Minecrafters is a village. So we have a van, a volcano, a violin, and a village. If you can think of any more words that start with mm, I would love to know what they are. That would be fantastic, so just let me know. Okay, so let's have a think about how, oops, sorry. not do what I want it to do. I'm just going to go and use my mouse to try and make it do what I want it to do. There we go. So, can you write? Mm. Let's try and do it together. So, this is one that uses diagonal lines. So they are straight lines, but they don't go straight up or down. They go from one side to the other. So are you ready for your first diagonal line? Goes down and across and up and across. Can you try that? Down and across, up and across. One more try, try it with your finger first. Down and across, up and across. Now if you can try writing it on your board or your piece of paper, that would be fantastic. So remember down and across, up and across. So they are straight lines, but they go on what we call a diagonal. Well done. Now we're going to try to write some words that start with mm. Are you ready? Need to get the black pen just for you a moment. So have a look at the picture. What is that a picture of? That's right, it is a van, a van. So what sounds do you need to write the word van? We need mm, a, mm, van. Can you try and write those graphemes? Let's give it a go. Mm. Ah. Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. Van. Did you get all of those? If you did, give yourself a tick. Well done. Let's have a look at the next one. Now, this is a doctor who looks after animals. Do you know what that's called? That's right. It is a vet. A vet. So the sounds we're looking for, vet. 
we need vet vet can you try to write that on your piece of paper remember if you need a bit more time please do pause because it's really important that you try to hear each of those sounds. Sometimes it's easier to hear the beginning sound. People get a bit stuck with the middle one. And then sometimes we just think of something completely random for the end one. So just take your time, say it a few times if you need to, and really think about which phonemes we are saying. So, um, et. Let me try and write those down. Vet. Have a look at your um, board or your paper and make sure your letter formation is the same as mine. So remember, particularly with the E, that's quite a tricky one. Go round and curl it around. And the V, just make sure your lines are diagonal, not straight up and down. That can be tricky as well. So something that will take quite a bit of practice. So doing a little bit each day like this is absolutely brilliant. And the last one. Now, this is a funny picture and probably not one that you will recognise. This is a giant pot that is filled with milk. And that kind of pot is called a vat. A vat. So listen to the sounds. Vat. Ones we need are vat. Vat. So see if you can write those on your board or your piece of paper. Ready? Let's check. Mm. Ah. T. Vat. Well done if you've got all of those, that's fantastic. Now we're going to go on to a little bit of reading again today. So we're going to be looking at those four high frequency words that we looked at yesterday. Let's see if you can remember what they are. So I'm going to give you a moment before I say them, see if you recognise any of them. Are you ready? You know what this one is? Had. Well done. Back. Can. Last one. Oh. Off. Off. Well done if you got all of those. We are now going to include those in a game that we call Countdown. So, this is quite a fun game. And what we're going to do is I am going to give you one minute. I'm going to time you on my watch. And we are going to see how many words we can read together in one minute. So let me just see if I can do this on here. It's going to work. No. Uh, these are all the words that we're going to read. No, I'm going to have to use my mouse. Hold on a moment. So, this says, countdown, how many words can you read in a minute? So, we know we do usually do the one minute um, grapheme and phoneme challenge. So, this is a one minute reading challenge. So, on my watch, if you can see, I'm going to, oh, there we go, find the one minute timer. And I'm going to put it on as soon as I start the first word. So when we hear it beep, we know we have to stop. Are you ready? Are you steady? These are all words that you should know. Let's go. No. Uh, technical disaster. Hold on a moment. This one is no, I, go, 
Blow. Mum. To. The. Of. Up. Dad. And. Dog. Get. He. She. We. Me. Be. Was. You. Here are the ones we had earlier. Had. Can. Back. Off. All. Oh, and this last one is R. Oh. So can you see? Timer is done. Our one minute is up. Okay, let's see how many words we managed to read in one minute. So. I found this on the web. Ooh. So we're going to start with R. We're going to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Wow! 25 words in one minute. That is incredible. So a really good way to practice that game is to go on to phonics play um, and have a look at tricky word trucks because a lot of these words will be on those tricky word trucks. It's a really good idea to start to be able to recognise these words by sight because that will really help you with the fluency of your reading. OK, I'd better go. I will see you all tomorrow again for some more phonics and have a lovely, lovely evening. OK, bye.